Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's start with creating logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as logo reveal. For this composition, I will set the time duration to, 5 seconds, remaining everything will be the same. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. You can scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now pre-compose it. Name it as logo, select move all attributes into new composition. Now from the project panel, add the texture image file to the timeline. Place it below the logo composition, for texture, change track mat to, alpha mat logo. Let's slightly scale the texture layer. Perfect. Now select both the layers, pre-compose them. Name it as logo texture. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. For this noise layer, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to the noise layer. For fractal noise, set contrast to, 700. Set brightness to, minus 30. Now set complexity to, 10. In transform, change scale to, 125. Now let's add expression for evolution, while pressing alt key. Click on stopwatch of evolution, now enter expression, time 80. You can see the preview. For this noise layer, in effects and preset, search for Gaussian fast blur, add it to the noise layer. Set blurriness to, 80. Now let's pre-compose this layer, name it as reflection. Now let's create duplicate of this logo texture composition. For duplicate logo texture composition, change track mat to, luma mat reflection. Now for logo texture, change mode to, add. You can see the preview. Now let's see how to set any color of your choice for this logo. Create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to the adjustment layer. Here you can set the mid-tone color, you can set any color of your choice. Perfect. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as Metal Logo Texture. Now from the project panel, add the background media file to the timeline. Now add dry tone effect to the background media file. Here you need to set similar color for your background, as you have set for logo. Now for the metal logo, press S to bring up scale, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for scale. Now at end of the timeline, change scale to, 90%. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, Search for Gaussian Blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Let's set blurriness to 1. Now in effects and preset, search for unsharp mask. Add it to the adjustment layer. For unsharp mask, set amount to 500. 
set radius to 0.5. Now let's create another adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer, now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of tint to 40%. Now in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now for this camera lens, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for blur radius. Set blur radius to 10. Select repeat edge pixels. Now at one second, change blur radius to 0. For adjustment layer, press U to view keyframes. Now at near about 2 seconds and 10 frames, create keyframe for blur radius. Now move 5 frames forward. Change blur radius to 50. Now move 15 frames forward, at 3 seconds, change blur radius to 0. Now move 10 frames forward, create keyframe for blur radius. Now move 5 frames forward. Change blur radius to 50. Now move 15 frames forward, at 4 seconds, change blur radius to 0. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for blur radius. Now at end of the timeline. Set blur radius to 50. You can see the preview. Now let's add the cinematic frame. Create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask for the frame. For mask 1, let's change mask path, set unit to, percent of source. Set top to, 10%, set bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our cinematic logo reveal is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you on next week with another awesome tutorial. Thank you.